Hey guys, it's Hannah. Relationship patterns when you live with bipolar disorder. And I'm gonna share my experience living with bipolar too in relationships and the patterns that I have seen personally. There are emotions involved from day one. So when you live with bipolar disorder, you communicate based off of your emotions. It's our language. We gauge people's feelings for us based off of their emotional reactions, which can push them away because we constantly pull and push emotions from them. And I think it's very confusing to another individual. Our extreme empathy always puts us in the position where we are giving and giving more to someone who doesn't reciprocate that to us. I've been there. I've been in many relationships where I'm always the one that's giving so much to the other person, but showing up empty on the other side of things, it leads to insecurities and insecurities lead to toxic relationships, which obviously isn't good for anybody with bipolar disorder. We are romantics and we do have the tendency to over romanticize people and situations. Boom, right here. I'm totally guilty of this. I'm not even going to lie about it. And I've embraced that part of myself. It helps with my writing, but it does blind me to the reality of a lot of people and situations. We tend to always go into relationships believing we are the underdogs because of stigma. And we live with a stigmatized and extremely stigmatized condition, bipolar disorder. So we are prone, we grew up to believe that we are inadequate and lesser than individuals. So it's like from the start of things, we're so insecure already. This is a huge one. We struggle to trust. We reject people, even good people. We distance ourselves and we are very skeptical of other individuals. We are very skeptical of even our partner. We have always felt unlovable. So it's like, what makes you different? You know, what makes you different than the others or what are your real intentions here? Majority, if not all of my relationships, I have, there has been love there from my side of things, but I really never trusted another individual. And I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I've learned to love without trust. Like, there's really never been trust in a relationship for me on my side of things. And that's obviously just a recipe for disaster. I'm really curious about what your thoughts are because over the years of advocating, I have really seen that the way people with bipolar disorder think and how they emotionally react is so similar. But even if it's different, I want to hear your experience, so please leave that below and subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my other videos, and I will see you next week. Bye.